Do you remember back when stepping on cracks in the sidewalk was a serious health risk for your mother's back? <laughs> and did you avoid the cracks? Or did you jump onto the cracks out of spite, hoping you might fall through, free fall through concrete canyons, cannonballs splash into childhood fantasies deep and wide enough to hide inside them from all of your fears? And did you buy into your parents' lies? And how did you get from there to here? Have you ever had an imaginary friend make you cry? And did you, like me, ever get locked in what felt like an eternity of apologies to an unavailable God, who only had the time to whisper into the back of your mind, it's a sin to be the you you are inside, as you do what you do? Where does your mind wander? And do you give it the freedom to? Wandering my mental sidewalks, I walk into a post-apocalyptic Eden. Imagine I'm watched by voyeuristic aliens looking in on me and a beautiful boy, hanging hammocks like holding hands across forgotten cracks and lichen-covered concrete, naked bodies boldly just being. In perfection, we rock between apple trees in this engorging garden of former city, and this time, it is Adam and Steve, and God has returned to finger the trunk of a forbidden tree, unlocking eternity. An orgasm so deep and thick that the aliens come to and come and join in to a sad-eyed snake singing techno as we pick and squish all the apples into cider so we can get drunk on knowledge and dance like it's college and there is no, no homo. And we all know that we are beautiful and magical until we black in. Sora asked and opened good and evil. And do you believe in good and evil? And do you believe in God? And do you believe in aliens? But mostly, have you ever felt watched? Do you too worry that people can see those things in you that you don't want them to? And do you remember when you realized that people don't think about you nearly as much as you think about them thinking about you? And you two feel isolated in this community of who we are and what we do. No one gives a fuck about you. Yeah. Except for the people who raised you and the people who now see and embrace you and God and the aliens who are watching you and keeping track of everything that you do. Not so that they can judge you, though. Just so that someday when you meet them, they can answer all your questions. Like, how many times have you slept in bed with whomever you've slept in bed with the most times in your life? Is that person, for you, like me, still your mommy? And if that is true, do you wonder when it won't be? Do you remember when you realized your parents were people, too? And were you surprised? Or were you surprised you didn't feel more godlike after you realized? And after all you've realized, do you, like me, ever catch yourself stepping on sidewalk cracks and still worry? Woo!